everyone guys, this is PH Dan Sanchez and I'm here in Coney Island, Brooklyn. Open my eyes and I'm feeling... Today I have this little guy over here, it's my brother's new camera. My brother is a personal trainer and martial artist. So if you're a personal trainer and martial artist and want to get better at taking pictures for your Instagram, for Facebook, I'm gonna give you my top strategies and tips so you can get the best out of your camera. Today I'm working with a Sony A6300. Uh, it's a brand new camera. My brother just bought this so he can start vlogging and making content. And the reason I recommended this camera specifically is because you get like both capabilities, photography and video, without breaking the bank. <laughs> so I shoot with a Sony A7R2. That's a more expensive uh, body, but this is this is great for uh, anyone uh, who wants to get into making content and without sacrificing quality and without breaking the bank. So that being said, let's do this. By the way, there's only one catch during this photo shoot. I am not working with my 2470 G Master f2.8 lenses because that would be cheating. I am only working with kit lenses 18 to 55 millimeters, which is what you would get if you buy this camera. As far as settings, I am shooting in aperture priority. Uh, basically, you can change only the aperture and then the camera will calculate everything else to get the right exposure. So that's like best for scenarios like this that we have a lot of light so we can let the camera take care of the exposure. So here's the first piece of advice. Try to get really low when you are using these lenses. Wide angle lenses are good for exaggerating perspective. So I know that I cannot throw the background out of focus and that's okay. I'm trying to get as much details as I can from my background and also from my subject. So you have to play with perspective and composition to take full advantage of these lenses. So we moved on to our next location and this time we also changed our clothing. We're doing a martial art photo shoot so we wanted to get more creative with the wardrobe as well. Uh, once again the approach is the same. I'm trying to get really low so I can get those really nice exaggerated perspective wide angle shots. Yeah, so that was the first round. Oh, uh, it looks really great. Shoots. <laughs> Get the shots from below. I'm flying! <laughs> As we approach to our final destination for this photo shoot, I came up with this idea of having the roller coaster behind us as a composition element to enhance my photograph. So as I said, these lenses are amazing for capturing everything around you so you won't get the blurry background. I'll repeat that again because most photographers starting out they want to get the blurry background, you won't get it. But that doesn't mean that you cannot get interesting pictures from this lens. This proves it. In every photo shoot, there's the one picture that stands out from all the photographs you took during a photo shoot. This was that epic moment where I captured the million dollar photograph. So 
thank you guys for watching this video I really hope you got tons of value out of my tips and I hope you really apply all these concepts so you can take your photography game to the next level please hit the like button because it really helps for other people to find this video comment if you have any questions for me and by the way if you're curious to know what is the gear that I recommend for bloggers for photographers for filmmakers I'm gonna leave a link below so you can take a look at what's in my camera bag and what I recommend for other filmmakers photographers that are just getting started out as a content creators in YouTube finally don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with my content this is PH Daniel Sanchez and I'll see you next time